Hi, I'm Shia LaBeouf. I'm Cage. You're watching Subterranean. The beauty of this Subterranean and this MTV situation, especially for any of you who are Cage fans, and you know why it's so awkward, uh, but for those of you who are outside observers, this is the last dude who should be on MTV. And it happened. It's like a miracle. It's like we, we pushed you guys into letting this happen. It's, it's so awesome. For fans, you know what it is, and if you uh, are new to it, then enjoy the awkwardness. We had a draft, we had a scriptwriter wrote a draft, neither one of us liked it, and uh, you know, we're actually <clears throat> looking for another writer and, uh, and uh, director that we both feel comfortable with, and there's no rush on it, you know? So, um, you know, we're close friends, and it's not a project that's, that's going away anytime soon, and, and as his career develops, the easier it gets to make a movie like this, so it's just sort of in win-win mode right now. The whole reason I'm doing it is selfishly. I mean, I want to play him, you know? I want to. I want to do that. I want to. That's a role that I want to play. Producing is not my thing. I'm an actor, um, and even the directing thing. I, it, you know, the only reason I jumped in was because it was a way to, to, to create noise, make for more exposure. You know, that's the only reason. And because we couldn't find another director, really. It was like a really fun experience because you're working with friends, so it's not like a like a like a, a really. I mean, there's risk involved because you know that, that it, it, uh, it's important for your friends, you know, and it's important for you, and it's kind of a first for everybody involved, you know? This is like the most pop culture Cage has ever been in his career, you know, which is scary for him, scary for me. You want to handle it right? So there's pressure that way, but, you know, being around friends just kind of makes it feel like, uh, like you're not at work. And so um, I think those are, those are just, you know, some of the... Some of the things that made it, uh, it took some of the fear out of it, took some of the sting out, was just being able to be around like friends and family the whole time we were doing it. And a lot of the crew members that I've worked with uh, on other projects in the past. So really awesome and really insightful. <laughs> it has a personal song to a friend of mine passed away, Kamuteo, uh, last year. So kind of touches on that. Kind of touches how people act uh, when someone dies. And they kind of, everybody kind of acts like they cared suddenly. Um, that was personal, and it was the first song probably that anyone's heard from me, a new song in like three years or so, so. Watching. Check out more of us at subterraneanblog.com. <laughs>